At our university, nothing matters more than your education. Like fair pay, free higher education is a universal human right and part of the Hippocratic Oath. And this is why so many staff at King's College London have devoted their lives to the pursuit of knowledge and the love of teaching. My name's Ewan McGahey and I teach in the law school and I'd like to send you a short message with my hat on as the branch president of the KCL University and College Union because as you will have heard staff all around the country have just voted in a ballot for fair pay, equality, job security and a fair pension. But you have not been getting the real story. On Friday evening, the KCL principal, that's Professor Kapoor, sent you an email saying that we will be experiencing industrial action, suggesting that this is what our staff union has decided. This is completely untrue. We have just voted in a ballot, and KCL had one of the biggest turnouts in the UK, against the 16% pay cuts since 2008, against systemic sex and race discrimination in our faculties, against job insecurity and against the 25% proposed uh, pension pay cuts that management wants across university pensions. We have not yet decided to take strike action because we are now calling upon management to come to the bargaining table and negotiate in good faith to halt the cuts and keep our university open. We say to Professor Kapoor, call off your management shutdown by paying people fairly. Because you're not getting true information, I want to talk directly to you. You deserve to understand what's going on, and so I'm going to try and answer what are the five main issues in the vote, and what can we all do now? We need to stand together, staff and students, and we're incredibly proud that the University and College Union has the full backing of the National Union of Students, and on the first day of the ballot, we stood together in solidarity to call for management to end the cuts. We're deeply, deeply grateful for all the support from students and societies that we've already had across Kings. Uh, and we'd now like to ask for your support to keep our university open with fair pay, equality, security, and democracy. Uh, so first, we need fair pay. At our university, while KCL management has been hiking your tuition fees to eye-watering levels every year, they've cut your teachers pay, real pay, by over 16% since 2008. That's about £7,000 less every year for a lecturer, uh, while the principal's pay has been hiked since 2008 by 16%. And last year, uh, the principal took over £463,000 in total pay packet. Uh, and Professor Kapoor is keeping his pay a secret while he's threatening you with university shutdown. They don't want you to know about escalating inequality at King's because they can't defend it. We say all university staff should get fair, a fair day's pay for a fair day's work, and we can't work if we're not being paid fairly. Second, we need equality. Uh, we've just balloted to end systemic sex and race discrimination at King's because the gender and ethnicity pay gaps are far worse at most KCL faculties than the appalling national averages of over 16%. For example, in the Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience faculty, which Professor Kapoor established, women get just uh, 71 pence in the pound on average compared to men. The primary cause of the gender pay gap is that our parental leave and pay policies segregate men and women with different maternity and paternity leave rights and force women to be the main child carers while men stay at work and climb up the career and pay ladder. Uh, in the business school, the gender and ethnicity pay gaps are a staggering 73 pence in the pound each. As a union, we are completely committed to equality and we propose straightforward solutions to parental pay and leave and an overhaul of hiring, pay and promotion policy to uproot systemic bias. But management has refused to engage with us and instead we've got an HR department that has been sacking women when they become pregnant. We believe that institutional sexism and racism is completely wrong, and that's why we've balloted to change it. Third, we need security. Many of your tutors are forced onto fixed term contracts and they have to reapply for their jobs every year. Our HR department has still failed to pay many of your tutors their wages by November, even though teaching began in September. Then they blamed your tutors allegedly for not submitting their details, which simply isn't true. 
Uh, this job security, insecurity, harms us all. It's the conditions that all young academic staff are forced through, and it's, that's why we've balloted to change it. Fourth, we need old age security. KCL management and all university employers across the country want to cut everyone's pensions by an average of 25%, even though our pension fund has a multi-billion pound surplus. These proposals hit young people the most, and KCL management is supporting a pension pay cut for young people of up to 40%. So we brought legal proceedings to end the pension crisis and make our university pension fund divest from fossil fuels. But our management has refused to back us, it's dithered, uh, and refused the offers that we've made to change their course of proposing 25% pension pay cuts. Fifth, we need democracy. Uh, our university council, our governing body, is run by an ex-arms dealer. He's called Lord Geit, and he's failed to fully declare and manage his conflicts of interest in breach of KCL's rules while he's worked for BAE Systems, the arms dealer, and, and showed as a big, a big bank or asset manager, uh, and also reportedly in, uh, worked for the Sultan of Oman, uh, a torturing dictator who systematically abuses human rights. He's also worked for Boris Johnson. Uh, Lord Geitz said that when Johnson took Conservative Party donor money to refurbish his flat, there was no real conflict of interest. But Lord Geitz won't even declare and manage his own conflicts of interest at King's. We've called for Lord Geitz to be suspended uh, and for an independent investigation into conflicts of interest on the council. And this is a systemic problem because the KCL council has 16 out of 20 people that are unelected. They appoint themselves. Almost all elected members were abolished in 2009, tearing up the King's College London Act 1997. We want our right to vote back. We believe that staff and students should elect a majority of the council, and we've run a petition at kclisdemocratic.net to achieve this. Over 1,000 people have signed, and you can too. Please go there now and sign it too. There are majority elected governing bodies at Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, and Toronto, and we think that there should be at King's as well. So, we are asking for your support to make our university democratic, secure, equal, and fair. That's what this ballot is about. We won't tolerate attempts to divide staff and students because our working conditions are the same as your learning conditions. There will be no strike if management bargains in good faith, ends the cuts to pay, and brings democracy back to protect our working conditions. As management takes more from you in fees, they're cutting staff pay and paying themselves more. And as you've seen in the Friday email, they are threatening to shut down the university by forcing, forcing a strike without good faith negotiation. So I want to ask you to join us in saying, Professor Kapoor, be honest about what's happened and let's work together to improve our university. And I want to ask for you to help us and help your teachers. Write to your tutors and tell them that you support their claims for fair pay because your support really, really matters. Also write to the principal and tell them, stop cutting wages, make real changes to end sex discrimination in parental and pay policy, and work with us to end the gender and ethnicity pay gaps across all our faculties. Protect job security, don't cut the pension, and make our university democratic. Uh, and also tell them to support freer higher education as a properly funded public service, not a market commodity underpinned by perpetual student debt. We don't want the resources for education being squandered on £463,000 pay packets. We need democracy and justice and equality and fairness in education. And finally, if management does support force, uh, force a strike, if management does force our university uh, into a shutdown by refusing to pay a fair day's wage for a fair day's work, we're still going to be there for you. If they refuse to talk and do force a strike, we'll be organising teach outs and public protests and we'll be asking you to join us. The best way to avoid a strike is getting management to pay people fairly. So please check out the web links below for more information. Uh, follow our Twitter feed at KCL underscore UCU. Uh, please like and share this video, smash that subscribe button and sign our petition for a democratic council that's majority elected by staff and students by going to kclsdemocratic.net.
Uh, and finally, please get in touch with me uh, if you want to help us. Uh, if we all work together, if we support each other, we can win a better education system and a better future.